Hello everyone, after a long overdue, it's time for a clearance sale watch. Not only that, but I was going to do it yesterday, the day of, and sadly it became a big fat, let's watch movies, and I in total watched five movies that mm, afternoon, turning to night. Well anyways, let's really do this. So. Went to Walgreens, went to Walmart, and they had lots of stuff, but their clearance aisle has completely got shot. Yeah, so it looks like when it comes to clearance aisles, fall all the way to spring is the best time to check out the clearance sales. If you don't do that, you'll basically get this whole, oh, we just have it in one aisle, on one side of the aisle, that's it. Well, anyways, so it looks like they have more Transformers, and I did do a scan. It looks like the Transformers are actually $7 each. And one I was really interested in was this Walmart exclusive Stinger. But, of course, Stinger is not that good looking. I mean, it would have been cool if they actually had it in Transformer and in Deluxe. But I didn't see they have it in a deluxe, number one. Number two, I don't even think Lockdown got a deluxe. Yeah, so sad that it just only got a one-step changer. So, yeah, who knows? Maybe in the next movie they most likely will have them. Even though, yeah, the dude's like, I don't know if there's going to be a fifth movie. Which I'm like, okay, well, at least till Hasbro to release Stinger release that other dude and release lockdown I'm just saying those are the ones missing yeah you got some hero smashers you got snarl here oh actually robots Dinobot slug and you have some Lego Star Wars they're trying to get rid of them I already heard that about that the fact that that line's discontinued and you're now able to buy them for ten dollars each ten dollars each series of course yes to have more call of duty they're still trying to get rid of those <laughs> and they still have more copies of those they still have the big lego sets and looks like they are reducing them but not truly reducing them to the way of they're trying to get rid of them so of course they have to make dragon they have the mammoth and they have the lion chi temple of course they also have this ultra agents Hurricane Heist, which I do have to admit, that one looks kind of cool. That one would be cool to actually use and just use for pieces. <laughs> Strip it for parts. So I tried checking out this Pikachu right here. So they still have more Pikachus. They actually have, well, they have one Pikachu and they have like many other Pokemon. So it looks like those are worth 20, not $20, worth $12. Yeah, so here's a little scatter shot of everything that was in there that I'm able to get. Let me tell you, it kind of sucks that I was trying to do this and first the freaking aisle was crowded. And then after that I had like some kid and then eventually I got comfortable enough to actually take it without the... Yeah, so that was kind of hard. All right, we go to the next aisle, and the next aisle, of course, one thing I should have figured out is the fact that they have a massive overflow of product. They have to move it from one place to another, but they don't want to call this the clearance aisle, too, because, yeah. So they're able to defend themselves because they're like, oh, this is no clearance aisle, and then I'm like, huh. Well, anyways, they have, like, some cribbity crappity stuff. They do have a Ninja Turtles right there. That's interesting. <laughs> Half Shell Heroes. Hmm. They have a bunch of Play-Doh. That's weird. And then this right here I'll get back to. But yeah, this is one of the ones that definitely, if I would do some tips on how to find stuff in Walmart, this would be one place in kind of it'll be kind of a place I would actually say you need to check out just the same old same old I mean there's really nothing here they made sure that lots of stuff is gone yeah it's like almost everything that was interesting is gone they do have a Legos 
box over there and yeah as you can see some jerk tried to actually steal some crap yeah but they were all in the bag still even though I still wouldn't touch it because number one they'll still actually say oh it's around $25 and number two we have no idea really if the person actually stole anything or not I decided why not go into the toy aisle so it looks like Transformers robots in disguise they are now on the shelf instead of hanging hmm that's weird they got rid of all the minions, so the $50 to now $30, that actually is gone. They were able to get rid of all of them. Or it's in the back. <laughs> and just for you Transformers fans, it looks like they do have Silver Bolt and there's just two of them. I wonder if he's worth it. And of course, yes, I had to do this little tiny picture. So this is their clearance aisle. This is the only thing they have in their clearance aisle. It's just all this random stuff. And then while I was actually, yeah, this is the second time I actually checked it out. It turns out they had a Lego minifigure series 13. Whoa. Not only that, but then all of a sudden they got a freaking Lego Simpsons season 2 out of nowhere too. I was like, whoa. So, of course, I got those up. And I guess why not? I'll show you some other stuff too. So, <laughs> Asian action. Oh, man. Uh, maybe on Sunday, or maybe as soon as I get an actual good sleep, I most likely will have something posted on Twitter that actually will be most likely either quote unquote offensive or something that makes a point. I already did it on Tumblr, though. Of course, eating of the East, that's something I wanted to show a friend of mine, so I still got to do that, because he's like, the ending is in one of the videos. I'm like, crap, they have two of them. I don't know which one it is. Uh, of course, something that's very, very unbelievable in Travesty is that Dragon Ball Evolution is in the anime box. I think I found like three copies in the box. And for people who love Amiibo, I think chances are we'll go get this Amiibo. Is a Kirby that actually is down. Yeah, a Kirby that actually is packaged wrong. This is a good one. This is very, very funny. Good one. And of course, I have to say that all the links, all their swords are bent. That's the weird part. Last but not least, yes, I was going to get this Mario. And it's worth six dollars. I actually looked on Craigslist, and the same exact product is getting sold for ten dollars, and it's been there for so many times. Anyways, I was about to buy it, but I was like, number one, I don't have a place to store it, and number two, it would just be awkward to have it, <laughs> so I passed on it. And of course, if you guys can see behind here, and this is our cashier, you can see right behind her is actually the police station. So, yeah, the police station is still there. Well, side note, so I can finish this, is that apparently we got a grand opening of a Dollar Tree that is nearby me now. I actually have a Dollar Tree that is nearby me instead of a place that was used to be my home, which has two Dollar Trees. So that was cool. So we went in. And I don't remember if any of them had the Simpsons figurines, but yeah, they have Simpsons figurines. So I decided to get two of them. And it's a good idea just to show you. It's like, oh, so this is where all of the products for Amazing Spider-Man 2 and etc. etc. is going to die. Along with that, you have these robots over here that you're able to build and stuff. Now it's time for my pickups what I got so one thing I enjoy but I do have to say side note opening that Lego Simpsons series 2 pack was hard as hell yeah it took me like four attempts to open it without scissors yeah that's one thing I don't I don't do is open it with scissors you ask why I think it was either Emo, Ebo, Ego Games, or I forgot what his name it was either that or Evangelist 
they proved why they should never use scissors when it comes to Lego minifigures. Or if not, just shake all the stuff down so it won't be a reason why your freaking skirt that you have gets cut. But I love and I enjoy just the fact of I don't really have to do anything. Yeah, when it comes to Lego minifigures. I this is my first Lego Simpsons and I don't even have to freaking use the feeling force because this is my first one. And it turns out that I got Patty. Patty Bouvier. So fifteen more to go. I'm gonna have to make sure I bring her with me because now I have something very special planned when it comes to the end of July. So yeah. And I think her purse isn't that bad. I will have to admit there's lots of other stuff I would do, but I'll keep that for a review when I get all sixteen of them because that's just how it goes. And of course for the season thirteen I picked that one up too. If I didn't pick it up, that means that it was a freaking copy. Yeah, and that was something horrible when driving. Well, I was driving, and she was like, oh. And I was like, oh. And she's like, oh, is it a repeat? And I'm like, are you serious? We've. I know the feeling force by now. It's like, how in the world can I just allow myself to buy a repeat? I'm not really that low in the whole entire thing oh yeah side note I did ask them if did they have more and they just said those two are the only ones they had in the back yay but anyways yeah so I got the sheriff in season 13 that was cool I would do a comparison of the old one but I'll do that only if I have all 16 of them and of course you can check out series 12 because that was the first one I completed and did a I think I did a fabulous job on it, but whatever. Anyways, yeah, as you guys can see on a wanted poster, you have to band it from a long while ago. I think that was actually from series six. Yeah, I think that was series six. So yeah, here is the sheriff and the bandit or bandito or whatever you want to call him, the gangster right there. Good match, good matchup. And last but not least is what I got unboxed, which I guess I will do a review on that too. So, you have Homer, yeah, I got Homer, and I got Bartman. And there's only five that you can collect, Bartman, Lisa, Maggie, Marge, and Homer. I, I'm just a fan of Homer. I mean, I should get Lisa because of my profession, side profession. But other than that, it's kind of like Bartman and Homer is the only good one. And besides, I think technically for just for two good Euro Bricks or anyone who is actually a fan of Bartman and you're like, wait a minute, man, but Bartman has the wrong shirt color. Well, this one will most likely satisfy you. What's cool about that is, yeah, besides they have like the big, oh man, look at their eyes. They kind of have leakage on them. Yeah, they kind of need to be like a little bit refined so it doesn't seem like their eyes leaking but they have the Simpsons on there which that's one thing that when it comes to Lego Simpsons they didn't do is just the fact of having that stamp on there but they did do it for uh, not Canada for Britain yeah they did do it for Britain when it came to the games or Olympic games or something which is kinda like so you did it for them but you don't want to do it for the Simpsons I don't get what oh, you want oh, <laughs> anyways yeah stay tuned I most likely will do a review on these figurines and well that's about all I need to do so anyways thank you for watching and stay tuned for more